It's 100.3 Phillies R&B, Mina Sewa in your midday. Now, I have a guy joining me today who I know for a long time. He's making a lot of news in the city. Some people might know him as Buna. He's the CEO of Stack or Starve Records, recently signed a deal with Def Jam. I know him as Curtis because we went to school together, but <laughs> welcome. I'm going to call you Buna. Curtis, yeah. what do you want me to address you as today? Because call me, You can call me whatever you want. All right, you're Curtis to me. All right, say welcome. Thank welcome. You, thank welcome. You. Congratulations. Thank Thank you. I appreciate you having me. Man, you made news all over the city. People were really proud of you. Yeah. You're a guy from here, and you signed a major deal with Def Jam. Yeah. Talk about just being in that space as a kid growing up in these parts, you know? I mean, it's, it's, a, it's an amazing feeling, you know, especially coming from Philly, you know, um, having to overcome so many obstacles, you know, and just being in the position I am now, you know, um, after being in the National Football League is a blessing. Right. So talk about that deal a little bit. How did that come about? Because that's a big deal, Def Jam. I don't. I can't really think of another imprint in a long time, right. uh, uh, like a Philly label yeah. with Philly artists that made such a you know a move with a, with a major record label. Right. I mean, you know, I had a dream. You know, after um, you know, just growing up, I always wanted to be in rap. Mm -hmm. You know, and um, after football, I was trying to find find my way, and I got into music. And I, um, I just felt like kids in the city needed some help. They wasn't getting the, the right attention. I just always thought we were so talented, but you know, we just never had people that, that wanted to take the time to invest you know, into, into the youth. Right. So I wanted to take that route. You know, um, I signed you know, a bunch of kids in the city, and um, you know, I'm here today. You know, I created a great team. You know, I have a great staff, and um, you know, we're here today, and we just got that big deal with Def Jam, you know, the, uh, the joint venture, and it's, it's a blessing. Man, that's incredible. Yeah, so yeah. D Sturdy is a friend. I know he signed. Talk about some of your other artists. Yeah, um, I have D Sturdy and the Philly Goats, which is Sue and Spence. Right. Um, Sue and, and Sturdy is actually real blood brothers. They from my projects where I grew up from. Um, I oh, have, wow, I didn't yeah, know that. Okay. Yeah, uh -huh. I have Young K.A. He's also from my projects as well. Um, I have Lil Mook, Sadi Four, uh, Young Livy. Um, I have a female artist named Kay. Mm -hmm. I have I have a roster full of people though. You know I might be forgetting a, a person or two, you know. But I'm looking to expand and you know go outside the city and you know just take take it up from here. I love it. So I know a lot of athletes, and right. I know that you guys you spend your whole life kind of working towards being a professional, yeah. a professional athlete, right? But then what happens is you don't think about your life after being an athlete. Right. You only think about that. You get there, and then when you're you know you can't play sports forever. I mean right. unless you're playing golf, you can't play football forever right? right so it's like what was that transitionary period for you because I know from a lot of my friends that I witnessed they struggle yeah. after they play sports trying to figure out what it is they want to do with the rest of their lives man it was hard you know like, like like you said just growing up you put so much time into playing sports you know um for me it's football like all my off time I was training you know it's times where you get hurt you got to just put that's you got to focus all on getting back healthy so you don't have no time really to focus on what's next you know because you planning for that that's your dream you right. know so when, when when my career stopped it was like it was hard I was in I was very depressed um I went broke it just was a lot like I didn't know where to go I didn't know what direction to go I ain't you know um people around you start to change because right. you're not playing no more um, the money not the same, so I went through a lot mentally, and um, I was trying to find myself. You know what I mean? It was hard, and um, I started to go into music. I wanted, I started trying to rap myself. You know I remember I mean? that yeah. actually. Yeah, because I was like, I was lost, like you know, it was right? Like, it was hard. I was trying to figure it out, and um, I just felt like I was too old to be doing it. I'm like, man, I'm too old. I was at this time, I was like probably like 26, 27. And I felt like, I'm like, damn, I already done made it to the NFL. What I look like trying to restart a career and come from the bottom and then trying to make people believe in me and music right. and stuff like that. I'm like, nah, this ain't for me. I'm and glad the, you realized yeah. that because we literally got 40 year olds yeah, <laughs> still yeah. trying to do it. Yeah, like, so I, you you had the knowledge to figure yeah, it out. I'm this like, ain't it. I'm like, this ain't it for me. <laughs> Even though I felt like I was good at it, it just wasn't it. Like, mm -hmm. I just couldn't see myself just trying to make people believe again. And, you know, it just, and then I felt like I was being selfish to people who really wanted it. So the little money that I did have, I had made an investment. Um, before I went broke, I had made an investment with um, Big Business. Mm -hmm. He do real estate here in Philly. 
Um, and I had some money coming back, maybe like in a year that I had already invested with him. So when I when I finally got that money back, I invested it all. I was like, look, I'm gonna just start investing in these young kids because I felt like Meek was was leading the way and like everybody just started the one of the rap in Philly. Right. You feel me? So I'm like, dang, maybe I could just start investing in these young kids out here who really want this, like this they dream, they wake up every day and just want to rap instead of me just putting my money and I just feel like I'm wasting, I'm going to clubs, spending money and you know, just trying to, um, you know, just trying to create a movement. You right. Know? I was like, look, I'm gonna just put it in and um, into the kids and the first artist I had uh, signed was Zai Sosa. Mm, Zai, shout to Zai. I was actually, when I first did it, uh, when I first got into the music, with, I had a partner, it was Kayan and my. I was actually just doing it just, just for a my, hobby. Yeah. Like, I wasn't really looking at it as, like, this going to be my business. Like, I just wanted to help kids. Like, I always wanted to help people. So I'm like, damn. You know, it was, it was fun. You know what I mean? And then I'm like, damn, I really could be good at this, you know? So from Za, you know, it just was up from there. You know, I, I'm happy you're saying that because a lot of things start as fun. Mm -hmm. Like my career, I started as fun. Right. But when you really put the work in and the time and the effort and yeah. you make the connections and you yeah. really like focus, mm -hmm. you know, it can really become your career. And I yeah. tell those kids that realize what it is that you like doing now right. and figure out how to make money from it. Exactly. So you can literally do what you love for the rest of your life. Facts. And you managed to do that even though you had already done what you love. Yeah, exactly. And you transitioned well, actually, to a whole nother well, thing. Well, well, actually, like, this is something that the music is something I, I actually love it. Like, I wake up every day and want to be great at it. Football is... I stopped liking it after high school. Mm. Like, it was more so like I was just doing it because... It's a job. Yeah, not only that, I just felt like I could make money and I could help my family. It wasn't something that I really enjoyed because mm. after high school, it became more political. You know, the injuries. And you played for Syracuse. Yeah, and it was like, you yeah. know what I mean? It just was like when I went to the league, it just was kind of, It wasn't everything that I thought it would be. You know, I'm definitely grateful and blessed, though, mm -hmm. to be one of the ones that, that played in the NFL for, for, for three, four years. Like, it's, it's that's hard. You know, 1,700 people in the world only can do that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Every year. So it's definitely a blessing. But to, just to be honest with you, I never was happy in them, in them stages of my life. You know, so now when this music stuff, I actually wake up, I enjoy it. Like I'm, I'm happy. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna win. I want other people to win. So it's like, you know, I'm in a happy space in my life right now. You dropping a lot of gems because you're talking about how investing literally saved your life. Right. Literally, investing exactly. saved your life. Mm -hmm. So investments, hard work, yeah. putting all your energy into something, and, and now <laughs> you right. got a joint venture with Def Jam. Yeah, I yeah. mean, that's what dreams are made of. No facts. No, it's definitely a beautiful thing, and um. I'm just blessed, you know, like like I didn't I always want I always dreamed of having a joint venture, but mm -hmm. for it to happen this soon, you know, and based off of all Philly artists, right. Like that's 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 a great feeling. You know, all my artists are from Philly. Yeah. That shows me like you can you can go crazy, you know, you can go above and beyond. Like it could be sky's the limit with this. There's no limit, like especially with your city. Of mm -hmm. course I wanna sign other people outside of the city, but to get to have nine kids signed to major deals all of them in six figure or million dollar deals and you and you you can put them together and get a joint venture just from Philadelphia artists that's big to me do you want to talk about the money like what did you sign for I mean I don't I ain't really <laughs> okay. one of the guys that be that, that cuz I read a number I want to put the number out yeah, there but I, mean, I read a number a, I don't know it, how accurate it was, that it was is seven figures but I ain't the type of guy that be putting my business out there yeah yeah I, that's I, how it should be I ain't really that right. I, I wasn't raised by Instagram like I don't really know. <laughs> Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm one of the ones that, you know, do what they say. You know what I'm right, but then people see that lump sum, some, but it has to be divided into yeah. the business, you know? You know, you know so. I got to hire people and You're stuff right. like that. Yeah. You know, that's, and that's important. Like, I'm I'm trying to grow. I want to be one of the biggest out here. Like, I'm trying to, you know, so I'm trying to create the right team and hire the right staff. Like, some of these people be getting this money and they just... They don't know, you know what to do with stuff it. Stuff like that. Yeah, this ain't, this ain't that. Yeah. Well, look, I'm proud of you, Curtis, and keep doing what you're doing for the city, and we're rooting for you. Oh, thank you. You know, and just surround yourself with those people, you know. Yeah. And, it, you know, we'll see what happens with Stacker Star of Records, but we're we're proud of you. No, I really appreciate it, and I, I'm proud of you, you know, going to college with Aww. you, seeing where you at right now. Like, you know, that's, that's lit.
That's crazy. It's a full circle moment. We went to school together, and now yeah. we're like talking That's about. Crazy. This is my first interview. Yeah. I've re- been with trying. You know, it, you 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 finally got me up here. Right. We've been with. Well, together. I don't play about my interviews. I'd be like, yeah. do you have something newsworthy? <laughs> 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 what fact. is newsworthy about what you're trying to tell me? No, that remember fact. I said yeah, that to no, you. This fact. is newsworthy. Yeah. You got a major deal yeah. with Def Jam out of Philly. Yeah. All Philly artists yeah. definitely yeah. newsworthy. Yeah. No, I got a great team. No, I have a great partner, Shana. Um, Shout to Shayna. Yeah, 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 that's 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 my that's my dog right there. Um, you know, Ryan Millions, Monet, like I'm, we creating some 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 big. Hey, looking to c- continue to put more people on in the city. Mm-hmm. You know, outside of the city. Like I said, I'm trying to be one of the biggest that do it. Yeah, I am gonna be one of the biggest. You will. It. Yeah, facts. Curtis Brinkley, aka Buna. I said your government. He's like, yeah. what is she doing? That's how I know you, Buna. No, Stack and Start Records. I appreciate you. It's me to say what here All in your right. midday All on right. 100.3 Phillies R&B.